really looking forward to walking you guys through NGRX Complex Forms, otherwise known as Serenity Now, just handle complex forms with NGRX, otherwise known as Don't Cry, It's Gonna Be Okay. Forms are hard. So today what I wanna do is talk to you about how do we simplify forms? How do we make our lives easy? So it really starts with NGRX. NGRX is about simplifying our lives and getting ourselves to a level of serenity, making things easy and repeatable, having a dependable way of handling logic. The thing that I'm gonna hammer on you guys today is container presentation. So this is a base concept that I really want you to take home and start using. Whether or not you start implementing NGRX right now, container presentation is gonna change how you develop your applications and is gonna help you maximize the reusability. The container is responsible for how things work. That's its primary concern. It's the one that's gonna inter interact with the store. It's gonna dispatch events and it's gonna get uh, selectors uh, to, to get the data back out. It's gonna then uh, store those in observable variables and then it's gonna handle any sort of events that are being bubbled back up. The presentation component is responsible um, for presenting the data. How do things look? But it actually doesn't know anything. So if you look here, the difference on its input here, it's getting just plain old data. So it's not dealing with observables. It doesn't understand what an observable is. And then any sort of click events, whether I click on a product, I click on a customer, I wanna save something, you know, whatever it is, the presentation component says, hey, I don't really know what, I wanna, what you wanna do here, but I'm gonna go ahead and emit event out and allow the container to decide how it's gonna be handled. The other concept I wanna to talk to you about is uh, NGRX entity. The idea of an NGRX entity is that, and this really comes from the uh, Redux spec, is how to normalize data. How do we deal with complicated data and, and, and relational data? So this is a, a very dangerous pattern to follow because what happens when I go ahead and update the product, I have to find all the different places that I've inserted product and attached it to something else. So now I no longer have one line reducers, I have these really complicated reducers that are 50 lines of code, they're very difficult to test, and the one thing that may not jump out to you that's gonna be an issue is, because of the uh, component architecture and because these, this data is immutable, if I go to update the product um, price, what happens is it's gonna force every component above it all the way up to order to re-render because I'm gonna be you know, replacing the existing state with a new state, and thus it's gonna force it to re-render. That's a really bad thing that we wanna avoid. But the problem with that is that that's really not life. We do display data, but the, the harder part here is how do I actually edit data? So let's talk about form basics. This is a core concept that I, I want you to understand. So we talk about our container, it's gonna pass our data down through an input down to our presentation component our presentation component is going to create a form group. And now that form group, when we receive the values down, we're gonna patch the values of our customer, our product, our order um, into the form group. And that's gonna, that's gonna uh, populate our form. And then when any sort of value changes, we wanna output those back up and emit an event. And in most cases, what we wanna do is we wanna store it in a local variable. So this looks more like what complex forms are like. A little more crazy, usually we've got nested data. NGRX is here to help you reduce the complexity of your forms. Thanks everybody for coming.